Hey, this is Eric with diffuserdoc.com and in this video we're going to talk about replacing the fan in a doTERRA pedal diffuser. You may ask why should I replace the fan in my diffuser? Well, for one, the fan is important for two reasons. It does it's responsible for blowing the mist out of the top and it also cools down the electronics of the unit um, which if they don't perform well, your disc won't perform well, it won't it won't diffuse the oils perfectly and it won't put out a whole lot of mist because because the electronics are getting too hot to actually produce mist well. So to get started we're going to go ahead and take this apart, take the top off, and uh, here's some examples actually of what the fans can look like. So these fans probably still work, most likely they don't, um, but if you can see how if you want to compare it with a new fan just how how dirty they can get um, and here's a another example and boy a, a worst case scenario possibly so these are also blowing the air into your home <clears throat> and when you're diffusing your oils and you're you know you're you're expecting this to be cleaning your air and and helping with your allergies um, blowing this type of uh, dust and and debris into your into your home isn't a great idea and cleaning these isn't 100% uh, effective so the best idea is to change it if you're if you're in here uh, if you open it up and you take a look inside and your fans looking like this um, it may be a good idea to change it also they'll they'll make a whining noise when they start they'll they'll whine and then eventually get quieter that's a sign that the bearings in your fan are starting to fail and that it's time to change it. Um, you're probably not getting the, a good, good enough fan speed at that point to effectively diffuse or cool off the electronics inside. So to get started, we'll take the top off and there are three screws on the bottom. You can use a small Phillips head screwdriver. They're available on the site if you don't already have one. Uh, there are a couple of different styles. I'll put some links down below of uh, the different screwdrivers we have. They're, they're very inexpensive. If you don't already have one, maybe add it to your order if you're ordering a disc or a, a fan already. So I've loosened up the three screws and a little bit of water. This must have been running recently. Three screws come out. We'll set them aside so I don't lose these. And Take, just take the cover off and you'll see that the disc is plugged in here with a yellow connector. Just go ahead and unplug that and we'll set that cover aside. The next thing we want to do is remove these these three screws. Typically, I mean there's four screw holes in here, but I have never really ever seen all four populated. Um, there's usually only three in here. So we'll remove those. I'm going to use an electric screwdriver at, from this at this point just to save some time on the video okay we'll take these three screws out and this right this right here is marked fan there's a plug right here just to go ahead and unplug the old fan or maybe it's a good idea to do it before you remove the screws but I was just holding the circuit board down while I unplug that. You can pull on the wires uh, and it's not really going to hurt the connector, especially if you're replacing this fan anyway. Take the circuit board and move it up and you'll see this large heat sink right here. That's what this fan is actually cooling off um, and it's important for this to stay cool to have and to efficiently um, atomize the water with your disc. So. You can see this fan has a little bit of uh, dust on it, but not too bad. It actually works perfectly fine. Um, but for you know demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove it and replace it. So there are two screws that hold the fan down. I'm going to remove them quickly with an electric screwdriver and take them out. There, these screws. If you if you happen to get these mixed up a little bit. These are a little bit flatter, uh, so you'll you'll be able to tell them apart from the screws that hold the 
the assembly of together. The, actually, the ones that, that hold it together are fatter. Um, and probably, I think they're a little bit shorter. So in case you get them mixed up, there's a little bit of reference. I just put them in a different area so that I don't get them mixed up. So take the old fan out and notice the position of the wiring. It, it comes out with the label. The, the label is facing up and the wires are coming out towards the back of the diffuser where the power comes in. Um, take the new fan. This is how the fan comes in a, in a kit. Um, take the new fan, new fan out, label side up with the wire facing toward the back. And I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in. And in this case, I'll just tighten these by hand so I don't over tighten or break any of the plastic. It's fast enough. Okay. So that's tight. New fans in place. Time to put the circuit board back in place. So we will align that back up on these three, back to the three screws that we've taken out here. And I put them up here. So put them in place. And for these three, I'm going to use the electric screwdriver real quick, just to save a little bit of time for the video. These are also smaller in comparison to the ones that hold the diffuser together. Um, they're shorter. They're not. They don't have a flat head like the ones that hold the fan in. I think it's probably okay if you get them a little bit mixed up, but it's better to keep them separate. Okay, so circuit board's back in place. Uh, now it's time to plug the fan back in. The fan plugs right into here. Um, in this diffuser, it's kind of cool. It's actually color-coded, white, white connector. Tuck the wires down in here, and it's time to put the lid on. Yellow, yellow connector, yellow on the board. That's pretty easy. Um, I'm not sure if they're all like that. I think they are. Every one that I've seen is. You want to plug the, give it a good click, and plug the, uh, the uh, disc end back into the board. Align this so that the three little dots are in the front, aligned with the switches and the lights, and. Just sort of take your time getting this together and make sure that everything is uh, straight and tight. And then we'll flip it over and we'll put in the three screws that hold the bottom in. Or that hold the whole unit together. I'm going to use the electric screwdriver real quick. And that's together, and now all we need to do is give it a test. Um, let me plug some power into it. Let's see here. Add some water. Add the water <clears throat> up to the line. Okay, and we'll put the cover on and give it a test. Okay, we have good mist output. It's nice and quiet. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll put the microphone up close to it. Very nice and quiet. Um, that's what you want to hear. Good mist output. <clears throat> the elect electronics stay cool and gosh, you're just not blowing this kind of stuff into your house. So um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook. <clears throat> Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us um, put videos out and also you'll be informed when we put the next tips and tricks and product videos out when we have new products in and 
I'll put the links to the screwdrivers down below and the links to the uh, doTERRA pedal fan part below in our in the description. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at diffuser.com or doc at diffuser.com. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.